What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of News, baby. Hashtag Farms of News. Today, we got 15 PC mods in testing. We've got seven console mods in testing. A2 Square Studios has got a new Gooseneck trailer. Holger Sandstock is wrapping Heston Bells. CM Mods is giving away free lime. North Mining Company teased their new dozer. Oxygen David has got more information on a future map plus his Ferguson tractor. Dutch Mining are moving to the right. Or is it, or is it this way? A Dub's Massey pack is very close. I have some extended information on the Hulk Plus Plus and Warrior Plus Plus updates. Sid Mining needs your help. Plus, custom mining updates is on everything that they're working on right now. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the 22-foot gooseneck bailing trailer, carry econet, cow's barn pack, cultivator lizard K500, front attacher, happy animals, harrow 5, HS 10.5 tank trailers, the update for meadow grove, mechanical harrow, modern fence, motor train, old trailer, binder servo 35, and the starliner 4045H cutter trailer. In testing for console players, we have the drawbar tanker, Flegel VFW 14,000, lizard Z5 525, Lizard C Pack, Mac Ag ILF Pack, PS6, and Utility Tank. With all that being said, we still have 33 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is four workdays. In addition to the mods and testing, 17 new and updated mods were released today to the in-game mod hub. New for all platforms, we have the Electric Pallet Truck, Joskin Tetra Cap, Stroutman Bundle, Open Sheep Pasture, Draw Bar Tanker, Flegel VFW 14,000, Fuel Trailer, and the Lizard Mako 12,000. Updates for all platforms include the Inner Green Pack, HS 10.5 Tank Trailers, and the Lizard Z525. Updates for console players is going to be the Lizard C Pack. New for PC and Mac, we've got the Metal Fack Z514, Kamaz 45 143M Car, Landall 7431, and Sad Cow. And your mod update for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Bailey TB Pack. I have already made a video showing these off in detail, and you can find that link below. A2 Square was busy overnight working on a new version of his popular gooseneck trailer lineup. This is based on a 20-foot platform and is a high-capacity gooseneck dump trailer and is only one megabyte in size, which is virtually unheard of for something this detailed. It will be coming to all platforms once released, but it is a ways from that. Although lots of work in Giants Editor has been completed, including the mask, colors, materials, weldings, and orientations. Check out A2 Squared on Facebook and on YouTube for more information on this and other awesome mods. Holger Sandstock has posted saying Heston Big Bells can't be wrapped, but they can. They are working on what looks to be a Heston Big Bell wrapper based around the in-game Coon wrapper. They also say that this will be coming to all platforms, and the good thing is normal bells will work as well. This will likely be coming as an update to the new bells mod, if my interpretation of their wording is correct, but could also be a standalone mod. Only time will tell. CM Mods is back after a few weeks away and says, Did someone say free lime on law faults? Yes, yes, we did, CM Mods. <laughs> If you are new to Farms and New Sam is working on their map, Lawfold's Farm Aberdeenshire map from FS17 and bringing it over to FS19. They have been working on this for a few months now, and from the looks of things, it is coming together very nicely. This was the first map that I ever played Seasons on in 17, and holds a very special place in my heart. I can't wait to play it again on 19. North Monty Company have released another teaser pick of their D11 Dozer, which now sports the NMC name, though it's still a bit close to the cat logo. I still dig it. They're working on this for all platforms, so everyone will eventually be able to use this awesome mod. They're creating this mod to be more than just a big dozer. They're working on it to be able to see and do all kinds of field work with the largest implements a farming simulator has to offer. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This is going to give the Big Bud 747 a run for its money. Oxy says his Ferguson T20 is finally in game on his next map, Comsden Farm, which will be his most realistic map to date, and this tractor will pair perfectly with it. You could sit and look at this mod for a long time and still find something that is so detailed that you're like, wow, I totally missed that. If you've ever seen the Viva La Dirt League video with the dude saying, wow, at everything on RDR2 World, this is exactly what that tractor's like. Oxy goes on to say, can't wait to show you my new project soon. What map do you think this is? I'm looking at it and I cannot figure it out. Maybe a member of the Go Ham fam knows. What do you guys think? And thirdly from Oxy today, he wants to hear from you. He says that over the next months, he's going to be setting up a few polls on his hub group page on Facebook, which I will link to below, to, to help determine what features his maps will have, the future maps. Today is what color do we prefer the cut grass to be, which I think is a great thing for a modder to ask. Lime green, like is used in most of his maps, yellow, or maybe another color. 
I will have a link to his hub where you can join and vote. Dutch modding, as you may know, have allowed quite a few map creators to use their Takata vans in custom traffic, and they have said once approved by Giants, they will be updating with the right-hand drive version as well for maps based in areas that use right-hand drive. That is so cool! Adub Modding updates us on the old generation Massey Ferguson pack, saying that the lights and tracks are fully functional, and now all that's left to do is fix a few errors and start testing. In addition to Adub, Premise Modding has been lending a hand on some of the details on the mod pack to help get it to us even faster. Stay tuned to the channel as Adub has granted early access to the pack, and I will be showing it off very soon. But before then, I hope you've enjoyed these picks from the store on Ravenport. In addition, A-Dub announced that his second map will be Bear Rock Logging, which will be seasons ready for all platforms. This map will have a few different landing pads with all base features of Farming Simulator 19, plus a secret lake in the woods. Those are my favorite. This map is currently with giants awaiting testing. Just as I was finishing the script for today's Farm Sim News, hashtag Farm Sim News, A-Dub dropped a sneaky peek at a new mod that he's working on as we speak, the John Deere 520 flail mower. He says this is the first time doing a mod like this, so it could be a while before this is in game, but something like this is a great challenge for a modder like A Dub Modding. Proud of you for going out of your comfort zone and trying something new. You rock, bro. After the announcement of Mods by Five Nines return yesterday with big updates coming for the Warrior Plus Plus and Hulk Plus Plus, lots of you still had some questions about the mod. The biggest one was will this be coming to all platforms or just PC? In this case, I think that is a great question. This will be an update to all platforms, is a pretty sizable one at that. I already consider these trucks to be two of the most versatile vehicles in Farming Simulator 19, but this update will include chassis options to allow North Mining Company's Griffin modules, the D754 truck pack modules by AAA Modding, and will have a shorter IT runner option to use with the 2623 HD pack. This is big. With Sid Modding back in action, he's looking for help from you. He's got his John Deere 9650 ready to go, but wants to know what grain tanks that you would like to see for this mod. I will have a link to his Facebook page below where you can cast your vote. I always prefer a folding tank that sits flush with the top of the combine anyway, but I'm boring like that. And lastly, today Custom Modding updates us on mods that they're working on right now. All the mods that we're gonna talk about will be for all platforms except for the map at the very end, which I will mention. First, we have the John Deere 1870 Air Drill. Textures are complete, 100% done in Giants Editor, and about 70% of the XML files and animations are done. Next is their John Deere C850 Air Cart. This is 100% done in Giants Editor, XML, and animations, and completed internal testing. This mod is awaiting the completion of the 1870 Air Drill to finish testing before being sent off to Giants for release on all platforms. Up next is the highly anticipated John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer, they have two new types of tires coming with this mod, Goodyear LSWs and the new Firestone Row Crop. Soon, they will be making a detailed post about the Firestone set, which we have not seen yet. They say that the spreader and sprayer are both finished and everything with Giants Editor is done. They're about 90% done with the XML files and animations, but are working hard to complete this mod. Even if they finish that part today, it will still be a while before we see this in our mod folders because testing something like this takes quite a bit of time. And especially with custom modding who makes sure that everything is perfect, which I'm totally cool with. The last mod for all platforms to talk about today is their Case IH 2000 series early riser planters. They say as the model 2150 is the most advanced, they are already in the texturing phase. The 2150 model is finished with about 40% of the UV map done and 50% of the AO and dirt maps completed. And the last mod to to talk about today from custom modding is their Dyesville 4x map which is being made for PC only all fields are already programmed they are now organizing the city OS farms mapping and modding is helping with this map next week they say they will be doing an exclusive post explaining all the stages for the finalization this map actually might turn me on to 4X maps. This looks awesome. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, hey DG, where is that thing? It's because there's no new information at this time, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the Go Ham Fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!
Yo, I'm so excited. My Lyle shirt is finally here.